Hello, stream. I hope you can see the whole game. Oh, I'm on the wrong profile. Okay, hold on. Oh boy. Uh oh. Did that okay. Something's happening. Okay, this is good. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, that's me. Okay, great. Hello. So it's come to my attention that But the last time I played this, um, I didn't have the aspect ratio right, and no one could see the game. So that's exciting. So hopefully this time it's correct. Is it correct? Please tell me this time. Thank you. And... I feel like I have to catch up my invisible audience um this is what the game actually looks like oh boy the music is a little loud compared to your voice uh oh let's see how's that is that better oh thank you i do have a new microphone I'm professional now. This is my new job. Is uh jumping on things I'm not supposed to jump on. So yes, the last time I played this, I didn't have the game set up correctly. And all you could see was pretty much this and none of the dialogue boxes. So to catch you up, I am a girl that cannot break her legs by jumping off of things. Like anything. I jumped off some really high stuff. See? I feel like I need a better demonstration, but just trust me. Um, I've been dicking around in this camp for a while. I've been doing things out of order. So I found my rocket car before I was supposed to and I couldn't get on it. I found some beetles. That was exciting. I found a rainbow slug that I can't get to. And I think I'm supposed to go on a spirit quest. And that's kind of, whoop, that's kind of where I am. So this guy gave me a sending stone for the equivalent. And my grandma hates me. So since you guys didn't get to see the dialogue box. Oh. This is the beetle quest. So she hates me. I'll hate her back. She doesn't hate me. Um, this is my Animal Crossing mailbox. I haven't gotten any mail yet. Let's see. And I assume that if I actually followed the plot of this game, I'd be, uh, like, making a lot more progress. So, I believe my choices were deliver some beetles, go activate my sending stone, or what I really want to do is find out what this glowing red lava is. Oh! And it's daytime. Thank you, Newt, for complimenting my green screen. As I mentioned, I'm now a professional. I'm not. Okay. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not even good at playing video games. Like, this isn't my thing. Um, which is why I think it's really funny that, that I'm the one doing this. <laughs> and my husband, who loves playing video games, is not. So I'm going to try to get him to be on my stream because I feel like there's some cosmic justice in that. Also, why am I going so slow? Oh. Oh, cool. Okay, I can activate a compass. But this has to go faster. Okay. 
All right, so it says, oh, that's left trigger. <laughs> I'm holding down right trigger and I am not going very fast at all. Ugh. Neither is my internet. So now you guys can see how pretty this game is. Look, I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna be puttering around the desert. Okay, so it says hit A to drive. So now I'm driving. Do I have to hold it? Really, this thing goes slower than I run. That can't be right. Like, do I need to put gas in it? What is happening? Listen, buddy. Okay, also I just gotta get rid of these beetles. Like, look, I can run faster than my car. There's something wrong with this. And when I'm really running, look at this. So it's a lot like Zelda, I have a stamina bar. <laughs> and I can climb things that no person should be able to climb with my fingernails. Ugh. All right, well, welcome to me gaming. It's just literally me climbing on things and falling off of them for like three hours. I hope you enjoy it. So let's go find this beetle girl. My scooter does put out a lot of carbon emissions. This game isn't environmentally friendly. It's probably a post-apocalyptic climate crisis world. All right, so if I were a cave under the camp, I guess I'd be maybe closer to the camp. This looks like a good beetle cave. Oh yeah. There's totally a beetle in there. Okay, so I don't know how to get back there though. I had this impulse to pull out a bomb and it blew this up. I'm not supposed to go in that way. Let's just rob my people. You need some help, my friend? I love that this guy has a bucket on his head. Love it. I'm so glad you're here. You, you get to watch me be really bad at video games. Oh man. Oh, oh, here's the cave entrance. So to catch you up, I live in the desert. I have a car that goes really slow. Um, I can climb things with my fingernails, which is very impressive. And I'm on a fetch quest for some beetles and uh, like some existential things about my belonging in the tribe, etc., etc. Oops. So we started with the beetles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and also I can't tell if this is a game where my choices matter or if they just give me a different dialogue box. Cause I'm trying to make her like really tough and mean and uh, I don't think it really matters. So I'm going to be participating in something called the gliding, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yes, I also have legs that don't break, which is perfect for me because I love jumping off high stuff. This is actually a really good first streaming game for me. It's like, it has the, the, the guardrails up, so I'm not gonna be dying constantly. And I can do things out of order, sort of. See, I was trying to get in this way. I can die my bike? Ooh, what's over here? Can I crouch? I feel like I should be able to crouch. Okay, let's back up and try again. Oh boy, okay, calm down. Sable. It's fine. Okay, so that's not crouching. I remember I did it in the tutorial. Once. Oh no. Okay, literally hitting every button. Not working. Oh no. How do I crouch? Maybe I'm just gonna ram my body over there again. Yes, you got this. Crouch down. Pressing a joystick. Oh, thank you. This is why I married you. Okay, there's nothing back here. All right. That, that was fake. There's nothing back here. All right, I feel like I've done my due diligence. Beetle fetch quest complete. <laughs> Let's see if I can get my bike working. Hey Mitchell, how do I make my bike go faster? <laughs> it says press right trigger. Maybe I have to push in the joystick again. <laughs> that seems to be a popular choice. Okay, okay. Is this faster? This seems faster. Guys, I have a, a bot that automatically sends messages. It's so great. You don't actually have to look at my Twitter. There's nothing there. Yeah, I think it's faster. Yeah, oh, it's totally faster. I just eased off the gas. So I guess when it has multiple carbon emissions coming out of it, that's when we're really rolling. All right, I'm gonna check my quest list. Oh, that's a rock. See, I'm totally resilient. This is perfect. I don't even have a health bar. You know what this means is I could just throw myself into terrible situations and just see what happens, which is how I love to play video games. All right. So I need to complete these fetch quests. I need to activate my sending stone. Where is the altar though? All right, this kind of looks like an altar. Okay, so here's the thing about this game, though, is I really want there to be cool things to discover everywhere, like the Korok seeds, at least, in Zelda. And I'm just not being rewarded for my curiosity. Like, I think they're setting up little areas to, like, set the landscape, but I am personally unfulfilled by, like, this rubble. Right, girl, ride this up the stairs. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Thanks for joining. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Have a good night. All right. 
So we're assuming that this is the temple. that I can't do anything about. Ooh. Also, where do I spend money? Like, what is the currency of this world? I literally collected a bunch of beetles for a little girl that lives under my town. What am I spending 60 coins on? Bye, Alex. Oh! I found something. So here's what I'm excited about. The gliding. And the fact that there is a flying city means that I believe I'm going to be able to fly in this game. Just saying. my stamina was higher. I really want to climb up there. Do you think I could make it on my fingernails? Watch this. Ah, oh, my legs are so strong. Thanks for the follow, Yuffie. Oh, I can't climb up there. No! All right, obviously I want to get up there. Can I jump off what and survive? The thing I already jumped off of? Yeah, absolutely. Bet I could jump off the front of this thing and survive. So here's where I have to turn off my Zelda brain because Zelda brain is saying, use your metal magic and pick up this box and then stack it on top of another box and hit a lever and that's how you get over there. All I can do is climb walls, guys. That's all. I think I'm gonna have to come back here when I have my gliding powers. So watch this. What? She lands like it's nothing. She's incredible. Where do I leave my bike? Who needs a bike? Okay, guys, where'd I park my bike? This is too much like real life. Once I uh, couldn't find my car in a parking lot to the point where someone who was leaving the par parking lot had to like stop and help me. <laughs> I'm that person. Yo, where's my bike? Did I? Oh, I drove it up here. That's right. Nope. That's what I get for jumping off the wall. I wonder. So I have that um, compass. I think this represents my bike. All right, let's go. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Let's get the carbon going. So where to next? It's clearly not the temple. I think I'm gonna have to go back to town and just ask for directions. I'm not too proud. Oops. All right. Also, did I go up there? 
I don't think I even went to the top of that tower. So, while we're here... Person who's worried about their kid. Your kid's a better climber than me. Whoa. Maybe I did go up here. Oh, it's a little nauseating. Maybe I'll look the other way. But alright. Uh maybe. Hello. Saizo looks busy. Saizo, what are you doing? Oh. I'm fascinated by your made-up technology. Guarantee you, we're going up there soon. Oh, whoops. Okay. Taking your money and running. Oh, yes. Did you see that, Grandma? Okay, maybe this is the guy that tells me where the temple is. These people never sleep. I can come at any time of day and everyone's just standing here. Where's the temple? No, where- come on. You gotta tell me. idea where the temple is. I think they said it was either east or west of the town. So I thought it was this big thing. And there's nothing over there. And what about Driss? Driss just gave me my bike. Where the temple is? Nope. Alright, well, we're going on an adventure. It's probably not going to make me beat this game quickly, but there was never any danger of that happening. Alright, um... interesting thing that's close to this town. Whoa. Oh, come that looks like a temple, though. <laughs> well then, <laughs> Yuffie, you will find me very interesting, because there's no way I'm beating this game quickly. I'm like the opposite of a speed run. Okay, this reminds me of Lord of the Rings. There is nothing more temple than this. Unfortunately, I can't climb this, not even a little bit. To be able to activate this item that I got. <laughs> Opposite of the speed run. Well, there's all that stuff about like slow eating and slow reading. So they're going to be slow gaming, just really taking in all the pixels. See, I don't think I'm strong enough to go up any of this stuff. I think my stamina is pretty lame. And I'm probably gonna clip through a mountain. Come on, girl. You got this. 
this. Oh, she doesn't, though. Okay, that's cool. That's been the object of my desire this whole time. This glowing thing. All right, I gotta say, though, my strategy for Zelda was run around like an idiot and then call my horse. Spike is not coming. That's really annoying. Can I hit the gas on myself? <laughs> go, girl, go. Yeah, see, this bike not coming to me is very annoying. Come over here. I'm exploring. See, I'm not even doing a side quest though. I'm just bad at finding my next objective. <laughs> I say it's a side quest. I'm I'm being a real explorer. I'm like mapping out the terrain. I'm gonna know exactly where I need to go when it's time to go there. I'm still trying to figure out how to hook up my switch to stream that, but when I do, I'm gonna be very excited to show off the incredible map that I've made in Zelda with Hero's Quest on, where I've covered a lot of land. Just let's say that. All right, maybe I can jump up here. Yes, a ledge. Ledges are everything. It. Okay. I found a place I can access. Oh, and it just leads right out again. Oh. 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 Maybe there's something cool here. What do we got going on up here? Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Oh god, no. Come back. supposed to be doing. I've never played Skyrim. I might like it. Is it kind of like an RPG? Ooh, I am definitely getting somewhere now. Like, this is a little obstacle course. What's at the end? And or is this a temple? I missed that so badly. Well, you know, I've been here before. 
so I know where to go. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I missed that so badly. Come on, don't fall. Oh, she's gonna fall all the way down. <laughs> well, this is a beautiful place. I really enjoyed it. I hope that's where I'm supposed to go, because... Yeah, gotta go all the way back up. <laughs> That's just the way we roll. Okay, so she doesn't fall automatically. Good to know. <laughs> Come on, girl, you got this. Do a little no no okay well now I understand the problem I didn't jump in time. Let's do a little early morning rock climbing. I like that this game is very generous with the stamina. By rights, I should have fallen off that ledge. All right, we're gonna time it. Here we go. Take your bets. Will she fall? Ah! Got it. Nailed it. I swear, though, if there's nothing at the end of all this... I'm just gonna have to look up where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I legitimately feel like they want you to go in a certain order. This is by far the most intentional place I've been, though. Alright, take your bets now. At what level will she fall down again? Will she fall all the way to the bottom? Daytime. Alright, I believe this is where I bit it before. I think. Yeah. Well, place your bets now. Mm -hmm. ah, come on, girl! Oh, grab something. Oh, good. <laughs> say about madness if you keep doing something over and over again and fail you're bad at video games is that what they say <laughs> jokes on you this is relaxing <laughs> all right i'm gonna give it one more try i'm gonna try a different strategy <laughs> And if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna take my little bike and I'm gonna leave. The beautiful thing about being bad at video games is that every time you try something you've tried three times already, it feels like you're really good at it. Here's my new strategy. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run, and then I'm gonna try to jump. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I was so close. I really feel like I'm supposed to be able to do this. Alright, I said I was gonna peace out. It's one of those rainbow worms. This is even better. What? Wow. Okay. 
Okay, I'm all about it. What? This is amazing. I'm so glad I fell. All right, and I made it anyway. There we go. Clearly the way I'm supposed to go. Can't pick up any rocks. All right, well, here I am. I don't think this is a temple either. Now, can I take out items? Oh, cool. So I'll never misplace my bike. And I can add markers. Excellent. Wow, this... Okay, this game is really big. Holy cow. Just checking in on what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to retrieve something from a ruined atomic ship. Okay. Huh. Alright. Nothing to do there. So can I hold this stuff? No. Ooh. I can't believe I'm gonna get different clothes. This is awesome. Now if only I can figure out what I'm doing. Ooh. I found the thing! I knew what I was doing the whole time. Obviously. So this is the remains of a ship. So there's a little bit of high tech and low tech over here. Come on, you can do it. I don't know how you're supposed to not drink things on microphone. Someone can enlighten me about that. All right, well, I feel like we've spent too much time, one might say, on this spaceship. So, where's my ride? Let's see if I can jump on it. I really feel like I didn't leave it over here, though. So, is the blue thing not my ride? Because it keeps changing positions. Okay. 
Now I can clearly see the path. feels like it hurts. Like there's like a wet smacking sound as her legs impact. I gotta figure out if this blue thing is my bike. vibes of Zelda, and I'm getting also some Animal Crossing vibes. Like, I'm finding beetles and butterflies. So it's basically all of the games that I play. All two of them. Can I cook? Not that I know of yet. Possible my grandma can teach me. It's also possible that I can buy some cooking supplies with all of the money that I've stolen from my tribe. to experiment with that. Oh, come on, I thought I could get up there. All right. Seems to be the same height. So, hopefully, guy's gonna teach me how to call my bike over to me like a horse. All right. Moment of truth. I get to advance off the side quests. Please. Do I have mail? Oh, no messages. I really want her to learn how to do some gliding. Are you kidding me, man? Where is the temple? Don't even start. So, who sent me on this darn quest? Does Driss need this? talking to me earlier. Who do I give this atomic particle thing to? Are you kidding me? Who 
is Saizo? Oh, I think Saizo is the one that does the um, technology. <laughs> Clearly, I talked to Saizo before. I'm gonna chalk all this up to I wasn't paying attention yesterday because I was so nervous about streaming. <laughs> so I missed all of the crucial plot points. Come on, you got this. Special delivery. No walk backwards so I don't get sick. Whoa. Some reason this isn't as nauseating. Size O! Are you kidding me? Saizo, I have the thing. All right, well, this is going well. This is going quite well. All right, let's use some deduction. I don't think that's a temple, though it probably is, because I've ruled it out. Honestly, that thing has got to be the temple. I really think it's a flaw of this game that uh, if you missed the one dialogue box, you have no idea where you're supposed to go. At the altar. So that's where I started. Could be worth checking out now that I have my bike. Scouting for Temple, part two. I'm gonna be real upset if the temple is neither of these things. This place looks pretty temple-y. in here before too. I wonder if I can get back up there though. So this is my first peek at this world. Really the only landmarks I haven't gotten into are the Lord of the Rings gate and that like atomic barbell over there. Oh, and the door I went in initially is closed. I think, I thought I went in there. Ledges are my nemesis, so I'm not going to be able to get up there. Maybe... Maybe there's a nicer way to kind of walk along these rocks. Okay, let me just check to see where I left my bike. Yeah, that's definitely my bike. Okay, well, I can go back to get that other rainbow worm. I just really want more stamina. Go, go, go. Nope. Wow, when I'm out of stamina, I can't even jump over a small rock.
seriously. Come on. Go, go, girl. Oh, girl, you got it. I think this one's doable. Here. Great. Why do I keep hearing like a magical bling noise? Hmm. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I feel like that's where I was. Oh dear. <laughs> hmm. Place my sending thing at the altar, huh? It's just this place is magical. Well, I wonder if I have the ability to take these items out if I'm in a place where I'm supposed to use them. Size is not going to tell me anything. I've got a hundred coins and nowhere to spend them. Ugh, this desert. I don't think I'm supposed to go back in here, honestly. That glowing thing matters not. Well, I'm going to ponder this. I'm going to take a little break, stretch my legs, cry, that sort of stuff. I'll be back.
All right. What? Um. Yes. Come back. All right. So. already over here but the internet as we all know does not lie so let's do it I guarantee you the place that I've been trying to find for like an hour is gonna be like right here where I was also, why is my bike so slow? Go, girl, go! No, legitimately no. I was already here. So I'm following this little triangle now. In the hopes that this is to put an end to my quest. <laughs> yes, this bike is a wild ride. It might be the driver. Okay, so now my bike pops up when I'm off of it. Oh, man. If the temple was up, I swear. I swear, if the temple was all the way up there, I'm gonna cry. I thought I did a thorough scout out. Like, oh, is there anything else up here that I need before I jump off? I did my checks. I did my due diligence. Oh no, we're back here again. So, okay. This little diamond's not really helping me when it comes to height. Huh. What is that? Oh my god. The answer was here all along. <laughs> The answer was here all along. Come on, Sable. We just did a real nice mapping of the world, that's all. That's all. We know where the atomic barbells are. We're good. Yeah, up this wall. And that angelic beeping noise is for monuments, it seems like. Yep, yep. Didn't see that for quite some time. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> it's really big. No, wait, was I up there already? Am I crazy? I am 
completely lost. No, that's where I came from. Okay. Phew. Really dodged a bullet there. The viewers at home screaming, no, turn back. Yes. Yes, this is where I need to be. Where the hell was this? The entire time, like legitimately. Okay, yeah, it's the thing that was on my map. I get it. I get it. It was clearly marked on my map. All right. I think we've all learned a valuable lesson today. I'm renaming the stream Humble Pie. <sighs> yep, here we are. Yes, I get so excited about these things. Look at it. It's beautiful. I don't- I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like the name. Or what happens to it, but... Okay. Now, am I supposed to put the egg back in the cup? No? To my knowledge. Maybe it's like the dancing Korok seed staying there. Oh yes, this is a temple. To Mothra. Hello. See if I have to drop this thing by Mothra first. And okay. Maybe my journey takes me forward. Oh my goodness. I was gonna say, hey, my stamina bar's gone. I almost saved myself from that fall. Almost. Boy, oh boy. Let's get back to higher ground. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. There's a ladder. It's giving me the interact thing, but it's not letting me interact. Weird. Nope, not even a little bit. It's okay, Sable. There's nothing down there. Ooh. Well, I live here now. Oh, wow, okay. Thought for sure that was gonna hurt me. <laughs> pull up this HP bar out of nowhere.
cutscene. Oh, I've never been happier to see a cutscene. Existential journey has begun. like Zelda. is wrecked. Oof. At first I didn't like the color in the air that kind of swirled around her. I thought it looked a little flat compared to the rest of the world, but this whole- Oh! Guys. What? This whole world is like a comic book, as I was saying. But hang on, check this out. What is this? So it kind of fits, is where I was going with that. But now I can basically become a pinball, so hold on. Oh my gosh! This changes everything. Ah! Okay, I will. Here we go. This is amazing. Now, if only there were more things for me to glide to. Um, I'm gonna go check out where I met this guy. Still have notes of dust. Nothing exciting. You just gotta make sure. It's down here. That's a big nothing. Alright. So, now comes testing my new limit. thing is that I don't have a stamina bar when I'm climbing. But I do when I'm climbing the ladder, apparently. Also, I feel this kind of heartbeat happening now. Incredible. Um, question. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I still live here. Mm -hmm. 
something tells me we gotta go up to go down. check of this room though because I was too busy becoming amazing yeah okay yeah yep nothing here nothing to see unless there's something down here nope 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 absolutely no reason for me to have gone down here I get it my curiosity is not rewarded just do the thing So, we gotta stay high. I don't think I can make it over there, though. Get it, girl! Ah, what a nice little ledge. Oh, 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 oh! I deserve that. So just do the thing. Just do the thing you're supposed to do, and you won't find yourself falling off pillars. Good life advice. There we go. The linear path. Ha ha. This is a familiar jump. But now I can glide! You know, maybe. Just maybe I wasn't supposed to be able to make that jump that I kept failing. That's what we're gonna say. All right. And as any person who has struggled knows, it's time for a quick save. Let's just save this bad boy. Ah, uh, yes. Great. Now I never have to do that again. All right, trusty compass. Okay, so question. This symbol is probably my town. This weird banana fountain is my bike. Now, what is it telling me to do with this diamond? Because following the diamond is how I got here. Oh. Obviously, I have to name this bike. It's the only way it will learn to return to me like a horse. Oh, I left this guy back when I was... Do you see what I see? I see a rainbow worm! I don't know why, but it makes me so happy to spot them. Um, I kind of do know why. I'm a total Korok seed fan. I hunted those things all over Hyrule. And, uh, this little guy scratched the same itch. Just rest, just rest. Take it easy. Okay, problem being, I can't glide up, so I'm still limited to my stamina. I'm pretty sure. Let me try. Uh, no. So, one would think you have to go high and then glide low.
see what I see? There's like a Picasso painting on a stick over there. Let's go check that out. After, don't worry, I've learned my lesson. After we give this stuff back to my friend. Thank you. Thank you, good chum. gonna say where the temple is? I almost don't want to read it. Okay, there's nothing. Oh, nope. Okay, great. It's... It's vague enough that I don't feel bad about myself. Sweet, sentimental narration. You know, honestly, it feels safe. Thank you. We all could do it. Why can't you glide? Yeah. No, I get that. That's how I feel about exercise. love it out there, even when you don't. Oh. Yeah. Tell me about it. Oh. Great. Saizo finally wants to take a look at all my stuff. First, I gotta go rescue this kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I've got this! For you. Oh wow, I did the thing where I didn't jump. Yep. We're, we're just gonna start over. I meant to be down here with the sheep farmer. I guess he sleeps. Oh, no, he doesn't. Alright, the lesson. Just do the thing you're supposed to do. Fine. 
go talk to Saizo. Ooh, maybe I can jump up from Saizo's tower. Hmm? Listen, the bike is no longer the coolest thing in my life. I have merged with a, like, prophecy, so. Uh, am I really getting a bike? Oh, that's right. I have a junker of a bike right now. Let's not let Driss off the hook here. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Time to pay attention. <laughs> Bikes are reborn in ruined ships. Alright. Near the camp. It's vaguely pointing at nothing, but alright. Um, I believe I found that already. I think I may have found one there. Oh, Saizo. Wouldn't you have just jaw dropped to the floor if I had them all already? The dialogue is actually really beautiful. And I am just being an idiot. Whoa, uh-oh. I'm stuck. Right bumper. I legitimately can't move. Come on, man. Saizo! I'm stuck. Oh no. I can't get away from Saizo. good. Okay, right bumper. Oh, you know, yep. Nope, still doesn't work. There we go. All right. Face marker. Dang, this is cool. Well, I've got to mark these guys. They're my quarry. Place it. Am I just placing a ton? Yeah, I'm placing like three markers. Excellent. And that vague place on the map. Is it up here? I did check out this place too earlier. Oh, thank god. I thought I was going to spend the rest of this game standing awkwardly behind Saizo. <laughs> I like this game, Omelette. If you like Zelda, if you like combat, no. There's absolutely no combat in this game. But if you like messing around and climbing things, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's kind of 
poetic too. The dialogue is very sad and wistful. And the animation is really awesome. my bike. Oh, there you are. guess that that's the easiest one over here. Unless... Unless I couldn't get to it because I couldn't fly earlier. Well, let's be honest. We all want to check out that giant atomic barbell. Steady, Sable. Well, if you came here to watch me jump off very high things, you are in luck. didn't find a part here. Unless it was on this panel. No, I think the lever was over here. Can I turn it back in? No. Okay, okay. Look at this. Look at this. Perfect launch pad. Go. There's got to be something over here. Holy moly. <laughs> There's a ladder as though I don't just fling myself bodily off of all this stuff. sure this is what I came for. Let's see if we can put this in a ship somewhere. So I'm interested in why there's a bunch of crash wooden boats all throughout this desert and then there's spaceships that seem to be in pretty good condition. Like either I just activated this or this was already working. If this was Zelda, there would definitely be something in this big tube over here, like a treasure chest. I have to satisfy my curiosity and make sure there's nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, no, there's gonna be nothing in there. Absolutely sure of it. All right, I think we're gonna have to show this to Saizo not get stuck behind Saizo and maybe call it a night. I've learned so much. I've gotten the power of comic book deities. 
Learn how to navigate this world. And, uh... I'm gonna continue flinging my body off of every surface because nothing bad happens to me. morning music. Sizo! <laughs> Feel good. Feel good about our progress. Or lack thereof. Slow gaming. Alright. I've brought you the goods. <laughs> I've literally just completed like the tutorial level. <laughs> yes, I would like to assemble my bike, please. about this game has such a beauty to it the dialogue at least like a poetry to it oh i love true name stuff all right let me whisper the name of this bike part Oh, okay. Well, it's not as beautiful when I've read it already. Sorry. All right. I was uh, very impressed by your beautiful words, Saizo. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Alrighty. Let's just get to it. by this. Alright. Those are all the parts I have. Aww. That was unnecessary but beautiful. Take my bike now. Samoon. Ah, all right. Well, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna have to come back to this another time and try Samoon out. She's so beautiful. And anyway, <laughs> who is Jedi? <laughs> oh, Jadi's my grandma. Okay, we. I can talk to my grandma before I quit. 
if she still hates me. Grandma! I think canonically she's not literally my grandma, but you know. I don't need money. All right. Where's that balloon guy? Yep, he's not up there. Oh, now they're gonna make me jump over there, huh? Fine. Honestly, I don't know how I missed that earlier. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Hello, little one. I thought I was going to send you back to your parent, but apparently not. Love them now. My, my. Perfect. Oh, do I have to tell you how much I'm giving? Oh, good. I thought I gave you one point, but apparently not. stop dicking around, I was able to move forward in the plot. Go figure. This is amazing. Sorry your child never wants to come back. Alright, Grandma. Tell me what you got. choose, Grandma. Wonderful. I think I'm going to end it there because it seems like I'll have to assemble a mask and I can't work my way through Sable's existential crises right now because I'm tired. Um, but thanks for joining me on this gaming journey. And uh, yeah, I should be streaming the rest of the game sometime this week. So hopefully I will see you guys there. And hopefully it doesn't take me as long as it did to uh, pass the first quest. So, yeah. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>